Hey guys, we are working on transportation theme this week and this is what is on our shelf. Let me tell you that this is our second level of learning the transportation unit. I introduced him to the basic transport vocabulary when he was 2.5 years old. Now we are going one level up this time. So let's see what's on the shelf. The first step here is cast washing activity with brush, foam, dirty cast and I plan to add a squirt bottle too. The next basket is a very special one as I spent most of my time on this, creating this pictures book for him. The first one is construction vehicles and I downloaded it from every star is different. The second one is about the parts of a car. I designed it myself in wood, printed, laminated and then cut punched and put together in a ring to make it handy. I have listed down 36 parts of the car with a definite picture and name of the part in a clear bold letters. He likes to talk about cars and we have endless conversations about the vehicles and now that he is in the phase of learning new words this will help me adding a good 36 new words to his vocabulary. The third basket has our worksheets which I'll come to at the end. Here is the fire themed sensory bin I created for him. As you can see, I have put pulses and assortment of tiny toys, his prized possessions, these two little fire trucks and fire flames cut out of paper. The fourth one here is a shadow matching activity and it's by Mad Rat. There are two scenes here, a day scene and a night scene and it also came with a nice little storybook. Our next shelf has math activities. The first one here is fill the dump truck. Next up here are two number order puzzles. I downloaded these two pictures from freepick.com. Next I cut out each strip vertically in total 10 pieces. I mixed up the number strips now and uh, I will let Shauna practice putting the numbers in correct numerical order. If he does it correctly, the picture should look right and if he makes a mistake, the picture will be off so it will, be, it will help him to self-correct. With this, I am also going to introduce him the concept of ascending and descending order. Now the next activity is counting and fine motor both in one. These are called count and clip cards. So I downloaded these from the measured mom. Now Shaunak is very easy with this and he breezes through this but constant counting practice is important for him at this stage and so we do this over and over again. Next is this simple wooden train activity again arranging the numbers in an order and it also develops fine motor as the hooks are little challenging. The next here are the construction movement cards. I downloaded these from Royal Balu. This helped me to introduce him 8 action words and if you like your child to act little dramatic you must print these, they are super fun and they are also good for gross motor activities. The next here are 6 vehicle themed task cards I created for him. Each task is simple to understand and easy to do. There are 6 different action words here and he already has started working on one of it. As you can see I have added 6 different action words for him. And he has already started working on building a plane with nano blocks. Let me show you what are nano blocks. It was a gift for him last birthday. Also I have tried to mention 6 different quantities here. 6, 5, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
The first one here on the shelf is a magnifying match game. It contains two sets of the same construction vehicles, one larger and one smaller, actually very very tiny. I laminated them and now will have Shonak use a magnifying glass to look at the smaller pictures and find your matches. This is a great activity to incorporate using science tools, in this case a magnifying glass uh, in a very meaningful way. This one is a great activity for also improving visual discrimination skills. Next up here are the vehicles themed jigsaw puzzle pieces and here is a book on road safety which is also a 4 piece puzzle. Now solving jigsaw puzzle can be a great exercise for the brain and the advantages are of course limitless. And here comes Shaunak's most preferred activity to date. Now Shaunak has already done this several times since I created this yesterday. These are called Montessori nomenclature cards. In simple language they are called three part cards. The first part is called control card which has a picture as well as name clearly mentioned in big and bold letters like a label. The second part is called picture card and third part is called label. These are the best resource for developing a child's vocabulary and concepts in all subject areas. These as you can see are self-correcting cards and thus help in building child's confidence too. And this is how it is to be done. Pick up a control card and then search and let the child search for the matching picture card and then let the child match the label the next up here is a very famous mechanics toy it comes with nuts, bolts, wheels and many other things best for strengthening of palm muscles the last shelf is for the crafting activities first here is tracing he can do this with either paint pencils or paints it's completely up to him next is crafting cars using the ice cream sticks we have already started with this one our skeletons are ready I saw this activity on ZQ's art room show. Now next step is to paint these cutout circles for the wheels and decorate them further. The next year uh, is the material for making a scrapbook page. I have provided him with these tidbits and I am going to give him complete freedom on how he wants to design it. About these cardboards, um, I'm going to make one big major project with these uh, to help Shauna practically visualize some transport related concepts and also for teaching him few opposite words. The last box on the shelf are the books, various kinds of books, story books, picture books, word books, board books, vehicle shape books sound books the list is uh, literally endless the last is these worksheets the first one is tracing using a crayon next are these free printables for tracing as well as coloring I'm introducing him the concept of Sudoku and I found this beautiful basic one for him. This is a first level Sudoku where he has to just figure out which picture is missing in the set of four pictures. I'm also introducing him the concept of 
crossword puzzles he very well knows the answers it is more of a reading practice for us this is a freebie uh, it is a motorbike vocabulary builder also fill in the blanks concept this is also fill in the blanks and there are options here to choose from introducing him to the two new words fact and an opinion and he has to choose whether it is a fact or an opinion i downloaded all these from primaryleap.co.uk this is something very special he went for three field trips airport fire station and railway station of course with his daddy and he saw around and tried to tick out the items i uh, i designed this simple worksheet for him in uh, microsoft word and uh, at the fire station the fireman was kind enough to give his autograph to and uh, he even wanted me to save his platform card sorry platform tickets i also found a very good resource about cranes on script.com i'll be mentioning each link in my blog post a few days ago shanak made me realize that cranes look different i seriously never tried to notice much uh, crane was just a crane for me but since he was showing so much of curiosity i hunted these printed and laminated them easy for him to handle and read now and to my surprise the names were actually easy to remember and the last one is the most favorite the singing part all his favorite transport rhymes i have clubbed together on one sheet laminated it for durability and easy to handle and rhymes are always a great resource for introducing new words and are all time favorite at home traveling day and night doesn't matter really you can start with these anytime anywhere hope you liked our lineup of transportation activities let me know what you feel about these and so bye bye until next time have a good time guys